back with this whole conspiracy theory mumbo jumbo. What's up YouTube, The Assist Man? And in this video, I'm bringing you episode three of the Conspiracy Theories series. If you haven't seen episode one and two, they're on my channel, go ahead and check them out. But in this game, I'm bringing you guys some Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare gameplay with my man The Big Andy and my man EY10. And this is picking up a little bit later on in the game. We are now on Wave 8, trying to make it to Wave 10 to beat this thing, and hopefully we do. But in Conspiracy Theories Episode 1, I talked about global warming and I talked about the AIDS virus. In Episode 2, I talked about computer viruses and anti virus companies and now in episode three I'm gonna talk about something really really serious and the topic of episode three is cancer and is there a cure for it now this is a really touchy subject you see because unlike AIDS which I think is a man-made virus and yes I do believe we have a cure for AIDS cancer is not a man-made virus but a lot of people say that we have had a cure for cancer for years. That we have and always have had a cure that will cure any type of cancer for decades. And we will not give it to the general public because we make too much money off the cancer itself. Now, is that true or is that not true? I'll leave that up for you guys to decide. And basically what I'm saying is, people believe, conspiracy theorists believe, that we have had a cure for cancer for God knows how long, but we refuse to release it to the general public because our government makes so much money and our world makes so much money actually trying to fight and cure cancer that if we released an actual cure for it, it would decimate the healthcare industry. And it makes sense. I mean, cancer is one of the biggest cash cow generating things like of all time. Think about how much money people spend on chemotherapy and getting and getting treatment for cancer and doing things for cancer and going to the hospital and all this stuff. And think about how much money these insurance companies make off this and how much more money they could tax us and how much more money they could raise our insurance rate premiums to help fight cancer. They make billions and trillions of dollars a year off of cancer-related health care. Now, if they were to come out and actually put out a cure for cancer, they wouldn't make all this money anymore because once you got the cure, you wouldn't need it anymore. It's like a one and done type, one, you know, one deal, one type done type thing. Once you got the cure, it's a one type, one, I can't even say it. It's a one time, that's the word I was looking for. It's a one time thing. So then you don't have these reoccurrence of issues. You don't have these patients that are going to keep coming back. It's going to decimate the healthcare industry. It's going to decimate the pill industry, the hospitals, the nurses, the doctors, all these companies that make and, and thrive off making treatments for cancer. If you just put out a cure for it, it's done. All these companies are going to go bankrupt. All these companies ain't going to be around no more because there's no reason to actually get treated for it anymore because you don't have it. There's no reason to actually make treatments anymore that will help fight it because it's gone. You see, I believe that. I believe that we have and always have had a cure for cancer and we are just milking it for all we can. I believe that a cure for cancer will be made to the general public in the next five to 10 years after they've already made trillions and trillions and hundreds of trillions of dollars over the past 30 years, 40 years now treating it and making all this money off of us treating it, now they're finally saying, all right, we milked the cow enough. Now we're gonna go ahead and release it to people to extend the longevity of life. But talking about extending longevity of life, wouldn't it be weird if another reason why they did not actually put out the cure for cancer is because the government wants people to die sooner? That might sound weird and you might be like, well, why would they want that? Well, I'm sure a lot of you guys know about Social Security. 
See, and that's a whole nother scam and a whole nother conspiracy theory. But what if the government wanted people to die sooner? So all the years that they paid into Social Security, when they died, they didn't get that money. The government did. The state did. The country did. Wouldn't that be an, a, an amazing conspiracy theory? And that will be the topic of my next conspiracy theory video. I will be talking about Social Security, the scam it is, and the government. So anyway, if you guys agree with me or disagree with me about what was said in this topic, I would love to hear your comments on it and what you think about what I said. And if you have not subscribed to me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and check out my other videos. Throw me a like if you like this video. And that is about all. So anyway, YouTube, this is The Assist Man. And like always, I am out.